Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good after midnight, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome to another episode of Greg Blends, and in today's episode, we are celebrating 2,000 subscribers. Holy cow. Um, you guys are out of control. I didn't even have time to make a 1K subscriber special. In fact, this video that you're watching right now is going to be recorded for 1K, and in the day that it took me to record, it's now shot up to 2K. Specifically, when I took this uh, screenshot, 2,049 subscribers, and that is just one more than a perfect 11 bits. So if you have a 11 ones in binary, that would be 2048, and at the time of recording, I'm at 2049, which is absolutely incredible. I appreciate all the love I've been getting for the uh, Blender 1.0 series, and I do enjoy reading all your guys' comments. For example, I appreciate this one, and 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 this one. <laughs> and uh, I will continue to keep reading all your comments. And speaking of comments on various social media, including Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, a lot of people have compared my donut render to the Dire Straits music video, Money for Nothing. And so I thought, to celebrate this uh, momentous occasion of 2K subs, I would do a time-lapse making the characters from the Dire Straits video in Blender 1.0 in IRIX. So I'm not going to narrate this because it took me, I don't know, like four or five hours to do, um, but here is a time-lapse of me creating both characters and myself in the set of the Dire Straits music video. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you get a kick out of um, some more Blunder 1.0 footage.
and here we have the final render. Um, this is what it looks like in Blender, and I also took it just like I did in my previous video. I also took it out of the virtual machine and then rendered it in 2.8 uh, so that we could have a nice clean render. And I will put a link to this render in the description if you want to see it in its full glory. Uh, and now it's time for social media. I don't know if this is going to be a, a reoccurring section, but I kind of like addressing the things that happen out in the world. So if you do tweet about me or post about me and it gets my attention, I might cover it in a future video. So Pierre Schiller says, if Greg had over 140 characters, he'd explain why scene level data and object level data makes harmonious compatibility from letter 1.0 to 2.9x. But I'll tell you, this data organization, per user, per object, per scene attributes, was way ahead of its time. So thank you, Pierre, for uh, linking my video of opening up a Blender 1.0 file in 2.8 and 2.9. I'm not sure I would explain it if I had over 140 characters, because you seem to do it uh, pretty good. <laughs> and you did it for me. But thank you for the shout out. And I am surprised that it, you know, it, it was so compatible. And, you know, the first version of Blender has been incredibly stable for me. I just did, like I said, like a four or five hour session doing this Dire Straits render and it didn't crash once. Blender 1.0 did not crash once. Of course we had the crashes with the rendering but I think that's more of MAME's fault. Um, one other thing that I want to address is that a lot of people have been saying I should be using VMware or VirtualBox and I don't know how to do IRIX in those. I don't think they support the MIPS uh, architecture, so I can't. If you have a tutorial, I would love to do it. I would cover it on the channel. And um, some other people have mentioned QEMU, I think it's called, which uh, handles MIPS and ARM processors, I believe. And also, again, I have no idea how to actually install it on there. I chose MAME because it's what the tutorials led me to. So if there's a better way to emulate IRIX, I would be 100% on board, but you have to link me a tutorial. And then the final thing I want to talk about is the future of this channel. Um, obviously, I've been experiencing exponential growth, and it's mostly thanks to the Blender 1.0 stuff I've been doing. Um, I still want to do more Blender 1.0 stuff, but I also want to get back to doing some modern Blender, not only just... Um, you know, for the sake of the channel, but also for the sake of my sanity, <laughs> you know, be able to use all the modern features and so forth. Um, but what do you guys want to see? What specifically do you want to see um, you, that I can do with Blender 1.0? Like more ideas, uh, other ideas I can do with old versions of Blender. At one point, I want to cover some of my old projects from back in like 2002 era when I was using Blender, like, I don't know, 2.3 or something. Um, that'll have some nice old classic Blender footage in it. And I also want to try to do a render with Blender Internal Render. Um, I never was that great at Blender Internal Render. However, in the you know past decade since I've tried to use it, I've gotten a lot better at rendering in general. And I'd be curious from an archaeological standpoint to go back and try to do my very best effort at understanding Internal Render and see how far I can push it. Um, I don't expect it to be as good as Cycles or any modern PBR workflow, but maybe with some of the knowledge I've gained over the past decade, I could probably uh, get something that I'd be happy with. So I do want to do that. That's another old Blender idea. And then I have some ideas for new Blender, like, well, I won't go over them, but I just have a various handful of ideas I want to do with 2.8, just for, just for fun, just for my own sake. So um, what do you guys want to see? Obviously, you know, I can't do Blender 1.0 forever. There's only so many things you can do when a almost 30 year old program, but I do want to keep playing with it because I do enjoy it. Um, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have spent the past four, hour, four or five hours playing in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all again for the 2K subs. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I, I just passed 2048, which is 11 bits. So 12 bits would be 4096. So the next celebration video will be once I pass 4096 subs. And then after that would be 8192. Instead of just doing the whole base 10 numbers, like instead of just waiting until 10,000, uh, I think it'd be fun to do powers of two. So uh, 4000. 96 and 8192 would be the next two places so thank you all again and i'm going to try to keep the ball rolling